What time is it, Scorps? Oh, shoot. Somebody bought me this. So I'm gonna use this for y'all. They didn't put like a name. So thank you whoever got this for me from my Amazon wish list. It says True Love Oracle. That was a cool gift to come home to. Scorpio, how y'all doing? Don't look at me like that. I know y'all mad at me. <laughs> I know y'all mad at me. I can feel y'all now. Like where is this high yellow? I love y'all. I'm mad. You miss me? I miss y'all. Who that? I miss y'all. Oh my goodness. So let's see right here. What's going on? What's going on with my scopes? Let's see the true love oracle. Love. Yeah. That's what I like to see. Yeah. Number 20. Some of you guys can be born on the 20th. Spiritual maturity. Go on with your bad self, Scorpio. Somebody born on the 7th. 17th, so spiritual maturity, love, worthiness. Oh, go on, Scorpio. Seeing the number eight with yin and yang here. This looks really good. I was a little worried because I haven't seen y'all in a little bit. But this look good. Love, spiritual maturity, and worthiness. This is kind of like the empress energy I'm getting with this card. That's awesome. You know your worth. Some of you like... The reason why you're receiving love, you're getting love, is because of you've matured spiritually and you know your worth. Sexuality. Oh, some of y'all getting it popping. <laughs> the silver waterfall. Why that look like? Yeah, I bet it's a waterfall. It says sexuality. Some of y'all born on the 31st, like me, or even the uh, 4th. Ooh, somebody want to tap that. <laughs> Somebody want to tap that. Somebody looking at you like, some of you Scorpios are just sexy. Like you can't even help it. Like you just put on anything. You walk out the house. You know what I mean? Not anything, but you know what I mean? You don't really be trying. And people will be like, damn! Oh, damn! Get off my nuts. Abundance, look at that. That's number one. Some of y'all born on the first. Some of y'all, I'm looking at a Scorpio. You got like a jewelry collection. Or it's a Scorpio, you got a stash box. You got some money stash. Scorpio, like, don't be telling my secret, bitch. You got some money stash for something for a rainy day. Oh, yeah. Let me get a dollar. The Divine Feminine. Go on with your bad self. With self respect on the bottom. That's what the hell I'm talking about, Scorpio. This was a good reading. This is the number 11. Somebody got a parrot. That's different. Polly want a cracker? Polly want your mama, sweet ass. I said, all right, some of y'all born on the 28th, the 10th. This is all, these are all amazing cards. Divine feminine, a lot of y'all are in your divine feminine or your divine masculine energy. You respect yourself. I like these cards. Thank you whoever got me this deck. People always sending me stuff anonymously. I be wondering who it is. I'm like, why you can't put your name? Hmm. I wonder who you are. Let's see. Let's see the love oracle. What else going on with my score? Scorpio, I miss y'all. Proposal. Love offer. <laughs> Engagement. Ooh, that tried to pop out. Family. Ooh, okay. Family is here. Cool. Generations, children, ancestors, origin. Some of y'all squirps got a big bloodline, long bloodline. You got ancestors from here to Timbuktu. Proposal though, somebody gonna make you a love offer. Don't look at me like that. That's what's here. It says love offer, engagement, agreement, wish come true. That's what's up. Crossroads, choice, multiple options, turning point and indecisive relationship. Y'all always get this card. Commitment, boyfriend, partner, girlfriend. Let me find out. Some of y'all Scorpio, especially my single ones, you want to be with somebody. You prefer to be with somebody. Sorry about that. Like the camera cut off. I hate when they do that. Um, trying to stop Scorpio's message. We all do it. Supernatural karma. A lot of things be happening in your love life and you be like, what the hell? Like, why'd that happen? It'd be the universe intervening. 
Mm -hmm. Removing people out your life. Reconciliation. Reunion, second chance, back together. I miss you. Somebody want to reconcile with you. Hello. Wedding. Marriage forever, the one union. Some of y'all, this is not everybody. Few of y'all dealing with somebody who married. Mm. <laughs> mask. Oh. Hidden motive, concealed, disguise, and lying. Somebody wearing a mask here, Scorp. Let me get one more card. Mm -mm. Intuition. Oh, your intuition is popping, baby, with regret. Somebody regrets the way they treated you. It says mistake, guilt, wrong choice, apology. What else is new? <laughs> intuition, gut feeling, psychic, premonition, and sixth sense. Your intuition is on point. Some of y'all been pulling cards yourself. You've been seeing stuff in the cards. You need to trust it. What's this mask? Because it came out next to the mask. Damn! Storm warning. Somebody here you can't trust. Upheaval, obstacle, wrecking ball, and drama. Let me get one more card on this person. What's really good with them? Thank you, angels. Thank you, ancestors and spirit guides. For being here. Magnetic attraction. Oh, shit. All right, so you got a magnetic attraction for the person. Mm. That penis could be good. But it's attached to a demon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm, well, unfinished business on the bottom. Be careful, Scorp. Hello? Who want to reconcile with you? Two cards came out. Surrender and liquid courage will break up. Okay! <laughs> Straight to the point. <laughs> That's somebody you broke up with. It says walking away, ending, separation is over. You walked away from this person. They walked away from you, whatever. But with reconciliation, they surrender. And maybe this person was like, <laughs> Scorpio show, come back one day. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to sit here and wait. Ten years later, no Scorpio return. Hell no, we ain't coming back to you. Who thought this was? They sitting there like a skeleton. Oh, Scorpio never came. The hell are you talking about? It's like this person is surrendering. Or some of you, maybe you surrendered. You just let go. It says letting go, release, giving up, and patience. But this person going to get liquid courage. Some of y'all, this person about to get drunk. Good girl! You was eating? You was eating because you're such a good girl? I know when she be finished eating, because she comes, she starts, she be like... <laughs> Pause. She be cleaning her mouth. Liquid courage, bravery, confidence, and yeah, this person from your past wants to reconcile, Right? They're going to reconcile with you. They're going to either pop some mollies. They're going to drink. They're going to smoke something, okay, with the liquid courage. Something going to give this person courage to reach out. That's it. Liquid courage. Maybe they go to a bar. Mm -hmm. Who want to make you a romantic proposal? Good girl. Date. <laughs> Grass is greener on the bottom. Some of y'all, somebody already made you some type of love offer and you don't want it. You feel like, nope, I can do better. <laughs> could do bad all by myself, Shirley. <laughs> Go on, Sheldon. Yeah, that's what I'm getting with. Date on top of proposal and grass is greener. But some of you, they already made you this proposal. Scorpio was like, <laughs> nope, I know I can do better. <laughs> Says jealousy, better option, unhappy, deserves better. Straight up. Now, others of you could be maybe this person going to leave somebody to mess with you. They're going to, they feel like they, the grass is greener with you. <laughs> hey, let me see this intuition card and we're going to go to the tarot. <laughs> Scorpios, don't forget to hit the like button. Single. Oh yeah. So for a lot of you who's single, yeah, some of y'all might even be tower readers yourself. Something about, why am I seeing some of my single Scorpio? As soon as you meet somebody, you pull cards on them. Let me see if they have a phone number this person. Right. Give you my number. Woo! What popped out? Wait, let me the note this nigga about right here. Player, you see? Anxiety. These just popped out. Player, anxiety, divine time, and then change. Some of y'all, especially my single Scorpio, you trying to... You, mm, so it's like somebody make you, ooh, I think, ooh, some of y'all, you damaged from dealing with a player. Somebody just, they damaged you. You know what I mean? Now you really got some crazy trust issues. Like, even time in by nice to you, this is whether you male or female. 
You'd be like, no, it's a demon. It's a demon, I tell you, a demon. Person be like, just ask you for dinner. Like, damn, Scorp. But anxiety is here. It's like some of y'all who are single, it says, see, it says alone, isolation, lonely and guarded. I mean, look at the girl in the picture. She's even going like this. Why is she looking like that? She's supposed to be at a bar. It's like some of y'all don't trust nobody. Mm, I don't blame you. I do not blame you. What is the family card? Anxiety. Some of y'all, your family getting on your nerves. <laughs> Because it says stress, depression, panic attacks. There's that anxiety card again. Some of y'all Scorps got anxiety. You stress out too much. You, some of you have go in and out of depression, right? You have panic attacks. You got to work on that, Scorp. I know life is hard, man. But but some of y'all, it's something about your children. Either you, some, you, you, some of y'all stress because you want kids. You don't have kids yet. You stress about having a family. You stress about setting a family. Wow, Scorp. A lot going on here. What's the divine intervention? Juicy. If you don't know, now you know, you know. Unexpected. Something about to happen with change. The universe about to bring something good in your life unexpectedly. Because you got three, boom, 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 change cards. Divine intervention, boom, that's change. Unexpected, boom, that's change. It says surprise, unpredictable, shocking, unusual. Bam! Change on the bottom. Regeneration, growth metamorphosis and cycles it's like the universe got some good things cooking for you right now you gotta just roll with the dice you gotta roll with the flow look divine timing so it's here twice boom 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 forehead combo mm. feel like the universe is forcing change in your life whether you want it or not scorpio you are the sign of transformation, baby. You can't fight it. It's been who you are all your life. All your life. All my life, I had to fight. Tell them. I had to fight my mother. I had to fight my cousin. Go on, Sophia. Y'all know I'm always caught with the color purple. All my life, I had to fight. Woo, come on now, Juicy. Hey, and if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> All right, Scrubs, I miss y'all. I miss y'all. Let's see what's goody in the hoodie. Let's see what's goody in the hoodie. Hit me up for a personal reading, Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. It is not a dating email. Do not send me no pictures of yourself talking about you available, you interested. This is a business email, okay? I don't want to know today. Anybody through email, <laughs> okay? No. Spirit did not lead you here. I just wanted to see if you thought I was attractive. Ah, uh -uh, you got to go. You don't get your pot belly. Woo! What's going on with Scorpio and love? Hey, Angel. I hugged my altar when I got back, Scorpio. I was like, I missed your little table and my little area. I miss my candles. Yeah, my little plant. What I call what the name is again for this plant. I forget. Oh, you need some water, baby. You looking kind of dry. Oh, Hillary. That's her name. Hillary, I got you, baby. Hillary looking kind of parched. <laughs> Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, boy. Let's move this out the way right here so you can see. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know, now you know. What's going on with Scorpio and love? This is going to be interesting. I ain't seen y'all in a minute. Two of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. What the hell? Eight of Swords. This looks boring. And if you don't know, now you know. Page of Pentacles. What's all these pages? A lot of communication, but you overthinking. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. What the hell going on? Somebody's penis is hard for you. <laughs> or vagina is wet for you with the Ace of Wands, right? But 
two pages here. Some of y'all talking to more than one person. Don't look at me like that. Or you got communication coming in from, from two people. An earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you got a fire sign. There's some people here that don't like you, that be talking about you, like a group of people, but you don't even fuck with them. So I don't know, I don't know if this is a work thing. Okay. Then, I gotta see what this Ace of Pentacles in reverse is. Somebody feels like they missed the opportunity with you. Hmm. Somebody's thinking about you a lot with the Eight of Swords, but they're thinking, they're thinking negative or something. You do got a pair here, King and Queen of Pentacles, but the masculine energy is in reverse. And some of y'all about to get money. You get money from somewhere. I see more money coming in. Six of Wands. Yeah, your career looks good. Knight of Cups is under that. I'm telling you, there's somebody talking negative about you. King of Swords in reverse. It's like a group of people. People at your job or something like that. Get out of here. <laughs> Straight like that. Like, the hell they want to talk about? Yeah, look, Three of Pentacles again. Seeing the name Andrew. Some of you Scorpios are very generous. You gave recently. There's a Scorpio I'm talking to. You gave to some charity or you did something here that was real given. The universe peeped that. You about to get it back like time three. Whatever you did, good job, Scorpio. And you didn't even do it to get anything back. You just did it being the good person that you are. Like somebody could have loaned somebody some money or just gave them the money. Cause I be doing it. I don't got time for no loans. Like just take it. <laughs> but only if I fuck with you like that. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, some of y'all might've did something like that. Like maybe you just gave it to the person or you could have helped. Something you did, something that was very given and the universe peeped that. All right, let's see here. Who is this page of wands? If you guys wanna join me in the extended, you already know Scorpios. The link is below, baby, where you can follow me over on Vimeo if this is resonating, all right? I love you guys. <laughs> King of Wands. Damn, that's Big Daddy King with Knight of Wands. Damn, who's this person want to tear you up? Somebody drives a school bus. Somebody working at a school or something? Why did I just hear crossing guard? Oh my God, the world in reverse. The Page of Cups. Damn. Okay, this person right here, this is somebody you already know. Mm -mm. This somebody you already know. This ain't nobody new. This ain't nobody new. You haven't talked to them in a minute. They gonna hit you up. They could be a fire sign. I feel like you're gonna be happy to hear from this person. I feel like they're very attractive and they're super attracted to you. Yep. Yep. You could be talking to them already. It's like this person doesn't want things to end between you and them. They don't wanna close out a cycle. They too attracted to you, right? It's a fire sign. I shuffled and look, page of swords in reverse on the bottom. This person could have been spying on you and they like, oh, Scorpio looks so damn good. What's this three of pentacles in reverse? Who's this like group of people that's been talking? Justice. <laughs> you know why I laugh? Because the universe is like, <laughs> That's like the laugh at the end of Thriller, Michael Jackson. <laughs> I'm laughing because some of y'all got Libra in your chart or these people could be a Libra, Virgo, Hermit in reverse, Six of Pentacles in reverse. You ain't even thinking about these people. They don't get money, right? They get injustice, karmic justice. Hello, the Hermit is in reverse. Some of y'all, they old people. Like, come on. You know what I mean? Like, you ain't got no life. Some of y'all, these people you don't fuck with, with the hermit in reverse. And a lot of you, they mad because you're not hermits. They want you to just, they talking about you living your life. King of Pentacles, something about your money too. These people ain't on your level. Hello. Eight of Cups. A lot of you, they mad that you walked away. You don't got nothing to do with them. 
These could be old, old co-workers. Like, Scorpio, like, you talking about uh, Donna? When I worked with Donna from five years ago? Donna, I hate her. What's the two of pentacles? Donna still got your name in her mouth. Why? The magician and the four wands. Woo, you seem powerful. Woo, you seem powerful right now. Somebody is trying to decide here. Somebody is trying to manifest you, but they're trying to decide here if you and them could have something stable or not. They're not sure. This is a past person, six of cups in reverse. This is a past person that can't let you go, right? I wonder if it's the same person. They're, they're trying to decide if you and them could have something stable. So what's this missed opportunity? Somebody feels like you're a missed opportunity. The queen of pentacles, yeah. Yeah, the page of cups again. Is somebody younger than you for some of you? It's like somebody here, you got a lot of communication coming in, first off. But somebody here feels like you and them, you could have had it up. You know what I mean? Something about New York here. What's the Eight of Swords? Somebody work at a church. The Emperor. Oh, you got an Aries here. Oh my God, and the Empress. Jesus! Oh my God! Woo! Do you see how the Empress staring at the Empress? Yo, with the Three of Cups in reverse. Yo, it's somebody that feel like you they match, boy. Emperor and Empress? Yeah. And look how the Empress looking at the Empress. Buffy's the Emperor in this deck. Yeah, boy! With the Three of Cups in reverse, though. Somebody's like feels like you're their match, but it's something about there's gossip around the situation. Three of Swords. Mm. Cause whoever this is, it's like you're always on their mind. They're always thinking about you. Always. But Three of Cups is in reverse. Can I get one more card on this person, please? Cause this is strong energy. Could be an Aries, a Taurus, a Libra. This is somebody you're not even talking to. The Eight of Wands is in reverse. So all this person does, Ace of Swords in reverse, not talking at all. All this person does is think about you and them and you're their perfect match. But that doesn't make sense. Why won't they message you? The Ace of Cups. They think you got somebody else? the judgment but this person still want to mess with you this is somebody you got history with you haven't talked to them in a minute okay they're stuck in a head but they they know that you're their match perfect match with the emperor and the empress but there's no communication let me get one more card on this eight of wands in reverse because that's a block the hierophant in reverse and the king of pentacles Taurus energy. Maybe some of you, this person didn't want commitment at the time. Maybe they just got out of something. Maybe it's non-traditional. Maybe it's something unconventional for some of you Scorpios. And that's why this person is holding back. Like, I don't know why I just heard some of you, there's a big age difference. There's an interracial difference, like a racial, that you, you know, it's interracial. Um, it could be religious. It could be, this isn't for everybody. It could be long distance. What's this page of pentacles? A lot of communication. Oh my God. Somebody, again, this is a different, this is somebody you have history with. None of these people are new. <laughs> None of these people are new. Six of Swords in reverse, Page of Wands in reverse. Is somebody really immature? There's more than one person here. Who is this person here that you got their penis hard or their vagina wet with that Ace of Wands? I feel like this person masturbates to you a lot. This somebody you're not even talking to. Seeing the name Amanda, King of Cups in reverse. This is somebody you don't even talk to and they are very much so still attracted to you, but this person is not talking to you. They're not 
Oh, they're emotionally unavailable is what I'm hearing. Maybe they trying to offer you sex. King of Cups again in reverse. Yeah, this could be a water sign. It could be another Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Or I don't know if this is you coming off emotionally detached from whoever this is. And who is this person? They're coming up like a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn. Possibly. Or a water sign. The star in reverse or an Aquarius. This is somebody that wants you with this Ten of Cups. They feel like you and them could have they happily ever after. But this person feels like you dropped them, whoever this is. They feel like you're not, you don't want to talk to them. You closed off emotionally. They still want to like, like relight this flame. Screw up your like, Ew. what's the six of pentacles? Some of y'all got somebody spending money on you, dropping cash on you. <laughs> don't look at me like that. The death in reverse. Oh my God. All these past people. <laughs> Nine of Cups, Six of Cups, again in reverse. Somebody from your past, death in reverse with the Nine of Cups. I don't know if this is the same person as down here. This person feels like you, they wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups and the death in reverse. It could be another Scorpio. They know that you are what they want. Like you are just what this person wants, but they may, be, they may have like a, a fear of change or something. One more card on this person. They spy on you like the Six of Cups again in reverse. Oh my God. Did you not see me shuffle? Again, like how many times? This is a card of the past. Somebody who cannot let the past go with the Page of Swords in reverse. Again, I'm seeing the name Amy. This person spies on you like crazy. Oh my God. And Scorpio just like, I'm the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> just here staring at this pentacle. That's all. It's on the bottom here. I'm curious. The tower. Ooh. I feel like it's a Scorpio energy too. A lot of y'all deal with another Scorpio. <laughs> what a surprise. We love other Scorpios. They're like our like obsessions. It's like, oh, it's another me. Yes, let's get dark together and visit the underworld. Oh. No, but with the tower here. I'm seeing the name Anna too. And the name Osborne, Osborne. I'm seeing a big peace sign too, like a peace logo. I don't know what, what that significance is. And somebody was a cheerleader or somebody's a cheerleader or something like that, a dancer. Tower is here. I feel like there were you, some of y'all had a tower moment in y'all love life. Something big happened and it, it was something for the better. Like you needed this tower, it transformed you, it transformed your life. Like it may have seemed like it was traumatic when you went through it, Scorp, but it was like, once you got through it, you knew what you had to do. Like it was painful. Some of you Scorpios had a near death experience or some of you like you actually like died and were revived. I don't know why I'm getting that because I'm looking at this tower card in this Buffy deck. This is the scene. This is the episode where Buffy, she had to sacrifice herself. She dies. So I feel I'm being drawn to like, you die. A lot of you Scorpios die like spiritually. Yeah, it was a death. Like you had to literally die and become a new person. And whatever you did, you came out on top. You had to, uh, a, a, a old version of you had to go. Yeah. Proud of you, Squirt. Proud of you. All right, let's pull these now. This is what we're gonna do in the extended. We're gonna look at the future for you in love. What can you expect in the future? What actions will this person or her sons, clearly, will be taking moving forward towards you, Scorpio, okay? Then we'll get you some advice to see how you should proceed moving forward in love and overall, all right? And um, yeah, we'll look at these oracle cards for you, see what comes out, get you some angel messages. All right, Scorpios, I love you guys. I'm so happy to be back, to be connecting with you again. You know what I mean? I missed you guys. And um, yeah, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, comment, share, tell a friend, all that good stuff. <clears throat> excuse me and i love you guys so much i will see you in the extended scorpios 
If not, I'll see you next time and y'all have a blessed week. And thanks again. It's morphin' time, bitches. Peace.